Ho ho, Eric, Eric. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome back, Eric. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Just give me a second. I know no. what is happening right now. I'm just missing my my earphones. Okay, okay, yeah, no then. problem. Yeah, Back. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, hey, I can hear you, Eric. Can you hear me? Okay. So you've been pretty busy yeah. at work. Can you huh? hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, very well. Yeah, well, I'm here at home, but I was setting my cell phone and my lap, my tablet, in order to get the classes. But I knew that something was missing. It was my earphones. So I went to get them to the because I, they weren't at the car. So I just ran to the car and get them back here. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be. And you used them? <laughs> because you, I just. You were just running, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just ran just a little bit from here to the where I have parked the car in that. Well, it's right in the, in the street. Okay. And what so, about. How is it going? Pretty good, pretty good. I was just curious, do you use your headphones when you're driving? Yeah, sometimes I, uh, I use them. But when I came, uh, when I've been alone, I, I, I don't use them. Okay. So, for example, I, what I try to do is uh, listen some e English audios, audios when I come in here, or some prayers in English, or music, whatever, whatever, it, it, whatever I think it it could try to help me. Okay. Busy, busy. Elias, so Stefan. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I, I was uh, kind of worried thinking that nobody is going to be here right now because I couldn't tomorrow at the class. So I thought that today was the last class and you just say goodbye and say, and <laughs> say hello to everybody. So I was, well, I guess I... I lost my last class yesterday. <laughs> no, no, they're just a reminder for all of the things that, you know, because this week is, is, the, is the last week, so they wanted to make sure that everybody remembers to register for the next one or, you know, work on the platform because some yes. people have been kind of busy. It's been a little difficult, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very well. Okay. Well, well let's I'm begin. happy to hear that because I, I know this is not going to be the last class today. No, 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 no. We still got a couple of classes left. So let's begin with the idea. Uh, first, are there any questions, any, any uh, lessons or parts that are not clear? Yes, teacher. Hello, first. Hello. No problem. Hello. Good evening. Tell me, Stephanie. Um, yes, I got a question, but it's about the final test. Oh, okay. Just, just let me find it. Mm -hmm. The, the sentence because the section because I don't remember, but I think it's like section C, B or C. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Um, 
Well, if you want, Steph, um, today we're going to begin with the the exam. So when we get to that part, I'm because I have to present it. So when we get to the part that you want, you just let me know, and then I'll explain it in that moment. Oh, okay. Okay. That That's way I, I, I'll share my screen, and because we're we've already finished up unit four yesterday, which was the non-defining relative clauses. So today is just looking at it and just reviewing. So. As soon as we go through it, if you, when you see the, the part where you have the questions, let me know and I'll, and I'll answer it there. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. And right. I also have, I also have a, another question. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gonna be the, our last week? Yes, or? we have two more ah. classes. Well, we have today, um, Wednesday and Thursday, and then that's it, we're finished for this year. And for the mo and for the module. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Do you think, a teacher, if this are we gonna, are we gonna start the next uh, uh, the next uh, classes this year or the next one? No, next year. Next module. Next module begins in April. I mean, sorry, not April. In January. Okay. So I wonder because in some institutions or uh, in government institutions, they are gonna stop stop it, stop working on Friday. So that could be uh, delay some uh, some uh, documents in order to send them to in support. Yes, that's that's why uh, we, we finished classes um, on Thursday. Um, and you have, uh, you, uh, and I think tomorrow is the last day for you to, I can't remember if tomorrow is the last day. After tomorrow, I guess. Uh-huh, to, to send the documents. And then Insaforp is going to work. Supposedly Insaforp is working until the 23rd. Okay. So that's why um, they can receive your documents and process and do all of the things, um, you know, uh, on Friday or the beginning of next week. That's why they're trying to make sure they have everything, uh, you know, all the classes assigned and the groups registered and everything. So that way the next year we can begin pretty fast. Okay. So do you have an idea when, when, when we are gonna start classes on, Jan on January? Maybe the uh, first week or second one? No, 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 not the first week because the first week they have to still uh, get uh, wait for people to get back, uh, check the information in the office, all of those. So probably it, it'll be the second week of January. It'll okay. probably, uh, because remember the the first is on a Friday, so they're not going to begin yeah. the, the first, right? Um, but it might be possible uh, to begin on the 6th. Like um like they did this time right they began on Wednesday but yeah. prob probably they're gonna try to just make it easier and just begin uh, immediately the second week after they send the emails remind everyone get everything organized. Okay. Nice hear that. Mhm. Mm okay. Teacher, I think the limit date for our inscription is on December twenty third. Ah, okay. There you go, Eric. The twenty third, Wednesday. I I think that's next Wednesday, okay. right? I remember they told me it was a Wednesday. I just don't remember which which Wednesday it was. But that that's that's better. If it's next Wednesday, you still have time to get the signatures and the documents and everything ready. Yes, we have more time. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. Okay. Anybody else, Elias, Sandra, Karen, have any questions about any of the lessons or the sections? Okay, that means no, they're very quiet on mute, but it's okay, <laughs> we're gonna go for it. So let's take a look and I'll, we're gonna go through the exam and Stephanie, whenever you see uh, the section that, you're, that you want to ask, you just let us know, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, so as we know, we have several sections of the exam. I think it's not the first time, so we're pretty clear. We have five sections. Section A is listening. Um, you're gonna have the first part of an audio and then the second part for a different audio. So if, remember there are two different audios. Uh, remember the, the clue is 
the first time you listen, okay, answer, listen and answer. But before you do the listening, read the questions. Read the statement so you know what you're listening for. So you read it, you look at the answers uh, for all of the questions for the first part of the audio. Then you listen to the audio. You choose your answers, okay, whatever you think is appropriate. And then you listen again, even if you are correct, you listen again to, to verify. That way you can check, yes, that is what I heard. Yes, that is the answer that I want to put. Okay, and then you submit. That makes it easier for you and it makes it more clear that you get the right answer. And you follow the same idea for part two. Okay, part two, again, you read the questions first, then you listen and choose your answer, and then you listen again just to check. Any questions in part A? No. I don't know. Hang on. No. No? It's fine. Okay. No. All right, here we go in part B. Okay, so in part B, we have complete the sentences. So there's a verb in parentheses, okay? So all you're gonna do is put the verb in the passive of that verb, okay? So you just need to remember how we write the passive. The key is always we use the passive with the verb to be and the past participle. Okay, it only, the verb to be is what makes the difference. The verb to be can be in the present, in the past, in the future, in the ing forms. That is the one that you have to be careful with, right? Because the verb is always the same, past participle. Okay, any questions for this part? No. Because no. No, okay, all right, perfect. Part C, tag questions and reduce relative clauses. Okay, so if we remember, tag questions are like making the question, but instead of putting the direct question at the beginning, we put it at the end. So instead of saying, did you eat pupusas? Is you ate pupusas, didn't you? That didn't you is the tag, it goes towards the end, okay? And the reduced relative clauses is, remember, we eliminate the who, the that, or the which, and then we just put, we started off with the, the verbs with ing, or we put in the action, and we don't have to repeat the name of the person. This is the part teacher that I got a question. Okay. It's part two. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. number, number three. Anyone who has a good voice is invited to audition for the choir. Okay, and yes. Okay, would you're looking mm -hmm. for? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I am not sure if I am, if I am right, but I, I think it's with, without the who, right? Correct, correct. Without the who, uh, and without. But and without anyone. Mm -hmm. But I I don't know what to do with the bird house. Oh. Ah, I see, yes, yes, anyone, yes. Yes, we continue with anyone, but the who we eliminate. Has, you have to use it. Remember uh, what I just said, when you eliminate the who or, well, in this case, all of them are who, so it's not a problem. The verb is normally, you're going to have to put it into an ing form. Okay. So what did you when you when you wrote it, Stephanie, or when you tried to answer it? What did you put? I put anyone having a good voice is inviting to audition for the choir. How did you put invite in? Invited. With ed. Yes, with ed. Yeah, that sounds right. Any, let me, and it, it marked it wrong for you. Uh, yes, let me. I have the same problem, teacher. I got it wrong. Okay. Karen, can you show me? Let me see. Or let me, well. Okay. Oh. If you want, I can share my screen. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Let's try it. Let's, let's, let's try it together to make sure. I imagine it's the same one. Mm -hmm. Let me.
Como la ocho y media dijo que iba a venir. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry, a la ocho y media la esperamos. <risa> <risa> Hey, look who's back. Leonidas is back from the trip in the vacation. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what number of exercise are you reviewing? Uh, yes, in this moment, they're going to share exercise number four. Or, or sorry, exercise number number three. Oh, number Final exam, no. Final exam, letter C. Final exam. Letter C. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, letter C, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, I, uh, I brought the same answer. Yes, yes. We're just, I want to make sure there is no spelling mistake, no double space. Um, I uh -huh. have another there. I didn't use the verb having. Yeah, you, I was going to say we can eliminate, you can try no verb and just mm -hmm. using the noun. So Anyone for example, with a good voice. Exactly. We can you try, try eliminating having and, and then just use with. In, okay. Anyone with. With, yeah, they, we just changed the relative. Uh -huh. That's it. Yes. Okay, okay. So this one, number three was with, without the, without the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, with ing and the, and the five teacher, I got it wrong too. Okay. The same. I, someone, I don't, someone I don't with. The verb being. Drop it. So the answer is someone interested? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, directly with the verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how do, how do we know that, teacher? Uh, 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 I don't understand why. Sometimes we, uh, we have to use the verb with the ing and sometimes no. Yes, it, it's, well, it, in, in the exam, it has to do with the way they put in the exam. But in real life, it has to do with just, you normally use the ing. When you don't use the, a relative pronoun, when you don't use one of these, um, you know, who or that or which, you, you use the verb with ing. Or with uh, anyone that does this action, that's going to be the ing. And you use the past participle. Kind of like, um, yeah. mm, I would think more like a passive type of voice. <laughs> yeah. So think of it like an adjective or a description can be ed, okay? And then the the activity or the the action is going to be ing. So uh, like Leonidas, like Leonidas goes to a movie and that way it, it's clear. So when, if he goes to a movie and he watches a movie, the movie is exciting, but he is excited. So uh, you know, that's someone excited uh, would be the way that you would use it. Is, is not a verb with ED, it's an adjective. And that's when you use the ED. So many times we confuse because we, are, we always remember that ED is the past tense. But in this case, it's not a past tense, it's a description. Those descriptions are the ED, but the verbs are with ING. Okay. So for example, le someone watching this movie, okay, ah, that would be correct because we do directly with ING, someone watching, okay. And then, uh, then they, EDs would be all of the adjectives, someone excited, amazed, entertained, uh, all of those words that sound like actions, but they're not actions. They're, because even though they have the e, ED, it's not a verb, it's a description. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. you know, in other words, teacher, there are, there are more than one way to say something. For example, you, you just can uh, be 
uh, you, you, just, you just can have attention in order what they are saying, if they are saying with the ing or they're just omitting this uh, pronouns, right? Correct, correct. You can omit it, you can leave it. There, there are more than one ways to say the same thing, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll continue sharing my screen so we can see the other parts, okay? Um, that's letter C, the tag questions. Remember to use those. Then we have the, the choose the words. Choose the words I think is one of the easiest parts of the exam because it's just about vocabulary. It's about remembering which word is the correct one. You read the sentence and you have two choices. So it's not so complicated because you know you only have two. You just have to remember which is the difference between the words that sound the same or that, that look the same. So for example, in the first one is discipline and disciplined, okay? One you do, the other you receive, or original, originality, is just choosing which word is the appropriate one to complete that sentence. Okay. So we have between adjectives and nouns, that's really the idea between these, which is correct. Is it the adjective where you describe something or is it the noun where you're talking about the thing? And then the last part is reading. Reading is, that's exactly what it says. You read it and then all of the information that you need in order to answer those four sentences of true or false are in the reading. And part two is just about completing the sentences. So you read it and then the four sentences for those are all of the information is based off the, the article that is given to you. Okay, are there any questions about any sections or any parts of the exam? No, for now, did you? Not for now. No, for the case, mm -hmm. I have one. Yes, Eric. And it is in section C, the section that I was, we were checking before. Okay, no it's problem. It's, and uh, number two, I don't know, maybe uh, I don't have the right word. In section two. Yes. C section uh, C number uh -huh. two. C number two, part two. I know, part one. Part one, number two. It seems like kids spend way too much money. Yes. Okay. I don't, well, mm -hmm. what I wrote is uh, don't they, don't they. But uh, I may, that is not the right answer for me. Okay, hang on, let me. Because I was thinking if I use the question in the, uh, using do at the beginning, do they, seems like kids or not. I, I okay. Uh, it seems like kids spend way too much playing computer games. Okay. And what did you put? Well, I wrote, uh, don't they? Ah, okay. Well, kind of, but we're not talking about the kids. The topic isn't the kids. So th that's it's why. The uh -huh. it, it, it is the is the action. Doesn't it? Hmm? Uh huh. Exactly. So it would be doesn't it? Exactly. Let me try. Let's see if it works. It works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, no problem. It's just that the focus wasn't the kids. It's the situation of, of playing the games. Mm -hmm. That is now. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Teacher, I have problem with Midterm exam in letter C. Uh -huh. you choose the quotation. Choose the quotation. Letter C in part in part two. Two part. The the relative clauses. Uh, no report speech. Uh, letter C in 
midterm exam. Ah, the midterm, midterm. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I was look, I was looking at the final. I said, hey, hmm? okay. I try to solve all the four exercise, but I have grown with that. Okay. With this. Okay. Just one moment. Letter C, um, part C. Part two. Part two. Part two. Part two. For example, uh, in in the first, I'm reading, or writing, writing, reading, writing with Julia. Mm -hmm. He told me uh, the answer. He told me that he wasn't writing with Julia. But why I wasn't? Don't know. I, um, because the sentence is not negative. Because no, what what writing? Okay. In in positive. Okay. A, a eliminate the word that. Uh, try. that. Yeah. Uh, try. I try with that. Yes, I try, but I have grown with the answer. Uh, he told me he was writing. He was writing with Julia. Mm -hmm. But it's wrong. Show your screen, Claudia. Let's see. Screen. Mm -hmm. Let me. Sure, no Let problem. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any other questions or any other sections? I have I have some interest in some of the other session. So when we finish here, maybe we could go check there. Okay, all right. What was the other section, Eric? I guess it's in section two, just let me go to. Okay, Claudia, you have to get closer. We can't, we can't see your screen or you have to share your computer screen, one of the two, because I can't, can't read what you wrote. Mm -hmm. Teacher, could you see? No, I don't know. Can you guys see? Yes, I can. Yes, teacher. Okay. Tell me what it says then, because it seems a little bit too, too small. Mm -hmm. Let me try to make it bigger. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, I'll change it to that. Okay. Um, he said, I'm writing what he told me. He was writing with Julia. He was R I D I N G with uh -huh. no not capital he no it's just he uh -huh. oh oh okay I know I know you you copied the entire sentence it's only the compliment you don't have to put he told me only he was writing with Julia because he told me is already there and then only the only the rest uh, okay 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 try try eliminating the the that part of the sentence only only leave your answer so eliminate the he told me mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there. Because it's only the answer, it's not copy the sentence. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that was the mistake. The mistakes are, I think it's the same for the others. The same is for the others because you put all of the sentence. It's not the okay. sentence, it's only your answer. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Claudia. Okay. okay. And Eric, for you, what was the uh, the section that you needed? Well, it's in section two, but I'm trying to go in there, but my internet doesn't respond. It's a little bit choppy. 
Okay. So that's what it happened when, when I'm in class. That's what I couldn't. Let me see if it works right now. Mm -hmm. Here I go. Wait a second. Let's see. Nope. Forget about it, teacher. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay. Take Same note. Thing. Okay. So later today, um, or when you get a chance, Eric, when you're not using the video, um, then uh, write it down. Write down what section and what question. That way, tomorrow okay. we can we can review it. It's not a problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, besides that, any any other questions? All right, great. So now we can go ahead and take a moment and go through our uh, reviews. So we're gonna do a couple of things. We are going to make uh, pairs where we have enough to to make pairs with each person. And we're gonna start at unit one, okay? So what we want to do is we're gonna go through it and we're gonna review it. We're gonna make sure that we understand the vocabulary from the different sections, that we understand the grammar points, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in, obviously the, the videos, no, because these videos don't really have like a conversation like, in the in the previous parts okay but they do have um the grammar parts so here i'll show you an example from part one okay so here is as you can see infinitives and gerunds part one okay so what i'm going to do with my partner is we want to make sure that it's clear so my partner and I are going to go through each of the grammar points from the videos. We're going to go through it and make sure that the two of us understand what is the difference. So I asked my partner, hey, do you understand the difference, infinitive and gerunds? If my partner says yes, great, we give examples. If my partner says no, we have two options. One is we watch the video if the two of us don't understand or I explain to my partner if I understand and they don't. Okay. So one more time, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go through the grammar points from the different parts of the videos. We're gonna make sure that we understand. If we understand, we're gonna try to give examples using it. If we don't understand, take a moment, explain to your partner or watch the video together to make sure it's clear and that you can use both grammar points. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher, that makes sense, okay. Okay. All right, so let's begin our review then. And if you have any questions, raise your hand and then I can see it. And if not, then, you know, we have. Oh, we lost somebody. I think somebody's internet went out. We had, I don't know who's Stephanie uh, Leonidas. Who's there? Okay. I don't know who we lost, but I know we were six, so. Okay, so then we'll only make two groups and maybe the other person will come.
Hey, Sandra, what happened? I don't know, coach. I just was with my partner and suddenly the, the I don't know how to say the pestaña, <laughs> but the program just take me out and I'm here again. Okay, hang on. Let me put you again with, with Karen. Okay. Hey, Karen. I am alone, teacher. Yes, Sandra. I was trying to help Sandra because she was here with you and then she said that she something happened and then she left and then she's trying to come back in. Yeah, sometimes uh, I am having trouble with my internet connection because I had a question when you were asking, but I couldn't activate my microphone. I don't know why, oh. and, and teacher, I have a question, I have a question, but I couldn't uh, activate <laughs> my, my phone. Okay, okay. Because, because in fact, I, I almost finished my, all my course, but I have problems with 1.2 exercise 6. Okay, let's do it while we wait for Sandra to try to connect. Okay. Is 1.2? Exercise 6. Okay, let me take a look at it. Hmm. And hopefully, I don't know what's, hopefully Sandra will be able to connect. We don't know what's going on. All right, exercise six. Asking strangers if they are married is inappropriate in some countries. Okay, I remember that. We did that one in class. Okay, what happened, Karen? What did you put? Yeah, I I remember too that, that we did it in class. In fact, I got it right, but today I was checking all my, uh, all my, let me see, like all you. my progress. Yes. And, and I got it wrong. I don't know why. Okay. Show me the answer. It's, uh huh. In, wait, wait, let me see. In a pro, Free it double P, okay, okay. So in some countries it's inappropriate, okay, to ask strangers if they are if they are married. It uh -huh. looks it looks correct. I can't. Uh -huh. Show me one more time. Let's try one more time, Karen. Okay. I think this is this is the one that there was a mistake on. Let me see. Keep going. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh, inappropriate to ask. To ask friend. Friend. Ah, that's what it was. That's what it was. The contraction is not permitted. They are. You have to put they are in contraction if they are married. Ah, this is the one that we contraction. We, yes, yes. That, I, I think this is the one. I think I'm, I'm. I'm almost positive this was the one where we had to have contraction that they didn't allow. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh -huh. what it was. That's what it was. Uh huh. So I finish. <laughs> All right, that's great. Feels good, uh -huh. huh? Finally. Yes, finally. Okay. I think I. 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 Yes. 100, 100%, yeah, I finished okay. everything, ah, Oof. yes, then you can go so, two more days and no problem, you can just relax, uh -huh. I can relax and talk and talk and talk because this is my, my, my problem, talking, talking, I'm trying to improve my my speaking, but I don't know why. Sometimes maybe I am uh, at this time I am too tired because I I forget all all my all my English. I don't know. Oh, it's just a matter of practice. It's a matter of practice. Let me. I'll be right back. Let me check because I see Elias is supposed to enter also. 
and he's not entering into your the group with you also. So let me maybe see if they're, if they're having a problem, okay? If okay. not, if they have a problem, I'm going to move you to a different uh, group. Okay. Okay, hang on a sec. Those exercises there. Um... Hey, hey, what happened? Elia, Sandra, you didn't enter. About what? <laughs> to, the, to the groups. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, about what? To, to the group with Karen. Uh, I don't know. I was just here waiting and suddenly just Elias appeared. No, you didn't, but I, the, you should have an invitation. You didn't get another invitation. No, I have never got okay. another invitation. Yes, I was just here waiting and uh, you just disappeared. Yes, I, because I sent you to, to Karen and I was waiting for you to join us. And I say, hey, Sandra never comes. No, because I have never received the invitation. Mm -hmm. You got just your screen frozen. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Elias, what about you? Did you receive the invitation? Okay, yeah, I guess. I guess. Either, <laughs> I think. Um, yes. Okay. Come along again. You're alone. I no, but you should be with someone because Elias is with Karen right now. Really? Yeah. Oh. But here, tell me, Sandra. Tell me if you've received the invitation. I'll, I'll send you mm -hmm. with a different group. Okay, but I haven't received it yet. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let me try another group. Maybe with, maybe with Stephanie. Nothing? No. Maybe, no. No, nothing. Okay. Yeah, let me... Let me double check if because if Elias could enter with Karen, then then the problem is with you. And and if he I didn't, think so. uh huh. Yeah. Why don't we try this, Sandra? Why don't you log out and then come back in again, and we'll try it again. Okay. We'll okay. Do it then. Okay. okay. Try that. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right, let's try, we're gonna try one more time, okay, Sandra? Sandra, can you hear me? Sure, I can. Okay, all right, okay. Let me try, let's send you to a group and maybe this time it'll work. Let okay. me know if you- it worked. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's what it was, okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. I guess we have to add something else. Maybe cooking vegetables, it's good in order to have a better life. Ah, okay, okay. It, the, it, the difference is the bear good. Yeah. Oh, um, yes. The bear good, but because in infinitive, eh, eh, or oh, oh, infinity is is to have. Uh, yes, infinitive is to have, but we can ask to the teacher about. If teacher, are you there? I'm here. Go ahead, Eric. For example, well, it, it is. For example, well, go ahead, go ahead, Claudia. Uh, 
uh, I put a vegetable to have a better a better help or a better life. And in fin is, it, this is infinity. In Jerus could be cooking vegetable is it, 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 cooking bear, no cooking a vegetable to have a better life? No, no, no. The, the problem no. is the ending. The problem is the ending. The idea is correct. Um, so it's going to be cooking vegetable uh, gives you a better life. Cooking vegetable okay. gives sure. you a better life. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, Eric? Ah, yes, yes. In Jerum. Okay, Correct. I have, a question. Mm -hmm. I have a similar question about this. For example, it is uh, grammarly, grammarly, grammarly correct use gerunds like Claudia said. For example, it isn't necessary to begin at the be at the beginning, or it could be at the almost in the middle and then take the gerund the gerund the back at the beginning. Like like Claudia says, I cook vegetable for a better life. If I say it's cooking vegetable is better for, well, cook, cooking vegetables, it's better in order to get a healthy life or something like that. Yes. But but my question is, we can use uh, the infinitive, but the word the the verb is almost in the middle. Then get this verb at the beginning. Use the verb. Yes, do you use it's common to use it with the word have or get so in order so for example uh, if you want a better life you have to cook vegetables okay mm -hmm. so okay. it's okay. it's yes it's, it's 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 also common the good thing is that it doesn't have to be only at the beginning they can be in different positions but it it's just the the order. So if you use a gerund, you you can say the same, but it's not the exact same words. You need to change it a little bit because you're using a different structure. Okay, so yes. that's why when that's why when I told Claudia, like cooking vegetables, you need to use a different word. Gives me a better life, or uh, provides you a better life, or, or or some other verb, but a verb that joins this idea, like in her first sentence. In order to have a better life, cook vegetables. A verbs, mm. yeah, a verb that connect the idea. Correct. And many times it's okay. it's it many times is that the the grammar is correct, but the transition verb is not correct. That verb that joins like although, but, uh, or in, or in this case, you know, different verbs that connect the two ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm now. Okay. All right. Good. I'll let you continue then. I have here that say you're qualified for a certificate. Oh. That's the way. Oh. Hey, but you can continue until you get the full grade, 100. That's true. Mm -hmm. Hello, oh, teacher. Um, I, I, see, he, I, li I like the way Lanai says, that's true, that's true, but I, 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 I'm, okay, I'm okay with the certificate. I'm okay with this, but it's true, it's true. Thank you, thank you. I can't. <laughs> I can't. But I we try later. Sense. I have uh. that sense that I have to finish everything that I, be, I studied. Okay. So that's, that's why. No, 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 that's good, that's good. Uh huh. Yeah, it's 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 all about just you know. It, I mean, it's true. You it, both you get a certificate, but yes. it's, it's just different perspectives. You yeah. know. Mm -hmm. But I will finish. I will. Oh, I I know I know Lonidas, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in you. We believe in you. We believe in you. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Sure. Do you guys have any questions? Are there any grammar points that are that now that you're reviewing, you say, mm, I didn't remember that, or I, I'm still not clear with this grammar point? Well, in my case, no, teacher. Okay. I don't think so. I just was wondering what the topics are about clauses in advance. Why, why don't other names or other topics? It, 
it let us know that it's something difficult, but in, in fact, it is not. I was the, wondering that. <laughs> usually the reason is, is because you build up. So when you start off um, learning English, it's usually words. Yeah. And, and then it's like um, phrases or uh, two like uh, idioms or, or two words that mm -hmm. go together. But then, yes. but clauses is the idea that is more advanced because a clause by itself is almost a, like a complete sentence. So th the idea is that you, that in advance, they say clauses a lot because these are f uh, complete sections. It's not a longer, it's no longer one or two or three words. It's a huge <laughs> section that is included into another sentence. Yes, that has one, just one meaning or is just one complete idea. Correct. Mm -hmm. oh. But That's that, that is like, that gets the exercise or the grammar topic a bit difficult. <laughs> I see that topic that way. Yeah, it, 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 it's a slow progression and it's really, yeah. the clauses is that name. For me, I think more than anything, I think that once you start learning grammar names, this mm -hmm. is the problem because you, you worry about the grammar name and not how to use it. Yeah. And right. like, it's like if I go to, for me, the way I look at it is like if I go to a mechanic and the mechanic is explaining to me what he did to the car and how he fixed it and what are the parts, but this doesn't tell me how to drive the car. Yeah. So right. maybe, so it's kind of like the same thing. If you focus too much on the grammar, on the names and not enough in driving is going to be difficult for you to communicate. So yes, it's important that you know the names. It's important that you have it, but it's not essential to communicate, but it is essential to communicate even if you don't know the names because you can, yes. go, to, you can go to many people in El Salvador and they don't have education, but they can talk in Spanish even if they don't know a plus preferico and all of these different names that we have. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. because those, yes, are, are. those are two different things. One is to academic knowledge, like, you know, mm -hmm. like, like to be educated knowledge. And the other is the, the communication knowledge or the ability to express yourself fluently. And I, that's why I try to have a lot of uh, our classes. I try to make a lot of little group classes and have for you to have the opportunity because for me, really, really, I, I see many students advance and they have difficulty speaking. And that's not the objective. The objective is you learn the grammar, but mm -hmm. you, more you practice the grammar, not that you memorize this is the name of it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, you're that's right. That's teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, you're good. right, teacher, because and I mean, many academies, the, the method is like just um, writing and reading, but not speaking. That's true. So that's yes, just accomplish a, a lot of tasks and assignments. But yeah. in this situation, I got something confused, but it was just because of the name, but the structure, I can apply it. And if the way that you explained it does, it was really easy to understand and also to use it when we have to to talk with with our classmates i'm glad i'm glad yeah i i see from a lot of different uh, uh other teachers or other people and they like to explain like it's mathematics here you use the uh the auxiliary in the past tense for the third person then you uh, add a, with a verb with ed or uh with a complement of past participle and and i think my god it's sometimes it's it's just so boring like who's gonna memorize it like of yeah. course I mean, I have to know it because I'm the teacher. I need, to, I need to know the reasons. But if you're not going to be a teacher, you don't really need to know the names. Like, you know, if you ask people in English and people that speak English that are native speakers, if they're not English teachers, they have no idea when you're talking about <laughs> the present perfect, the first conditional, the second conditional. They, what? They, but, but if you talk to them, they can use all of the tenses without problem. That's true. Yeah. Yes, and I, true. And I remember me here. a teacher <laughs> when mm -hmm. I was in sixth grade. She, she, she taught us like that way, just the structure, the person continued, just that way it was so boring, the classes. Yeah. 
it is. It's boring and, and it's difficult to learn. I, and yes, there are, are some people that learn like this because they are mathematical. But in the reality, most people are practical. They need to use it in order to learn how to do it. Like that's why it's, it's very, it's easier to learn to cook by cooking and by watching someone cook than by reading a book. That's why many people, when they get a book and they have a recipe, they make mistakes and they say, oh, it's not like the picture. Ugh, it doesn't mm -hmm. taste good. Yeah. It's not the <laughs> same. It's not the same academic than practice. So. Yes. I see the part of English, like the pronunciation, that's phonetics. So all of that science is like the mathematical part of English. That's really difficult. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all of them has difficulty. It's just a matter of practicing until we get it right. And I think the most important for everything is just, just practicing. With, yeah. en with enough practice, you don't even need the teacher. With enough practice, you listen, you watch, and you understand that it's wrong, even if you don't know why it's wrong. Yes. You try to imitate <laughs> exactly by imitation that's right claudia claudia eric hmm. we are <laughs> i see i see that my powerful students we are ready huh yes yeah. <laughs> excellent we have problem, we have problem uh, erin and i have problem with the exercise one point Two in one section. One point. No let you check. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What happened with one point two? Uh, the answer is grown. Which one? Uh, the number one. See, the, see number one. We in the first. The ah, in the first. Number one. About polyrit. Uh huh. Uh -huh. about polyrit. What the problem? Uh, I don't know. At, at work or school? or school is inappropriate. Uh, I see what is the wrong. What is that? What I'm doing wrong. You use I'm using uh, the contraction. I use it. Okay. No, I what I use is it. It's just is. Ah, okay, okay. Talking about politics at work or school is that's right is inappropriate yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. is. Yes, try. correct mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. okay 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 all right well don't yeah. worry we're gonna continue just with one n right correct one n we are going to continue tomorrow reviewing uh, to make sure that everything is clear. If you have any questions, write it down. Write down the section and the number. That way tomorrow we, we know exactly where to go and we know exactly what to help you uh, make sure that you get it correct. All right? Okay. Okay, okay guys. Thank have you. A, thank you. Thank have you. a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Bye.